My name is Dunker, and this is my bike. Since this was the nicest hotel and the most expensive, I wanted to make sure to eat the breakfast that was available. It was a very nice dining room, and the meal was amazing. I got onto the road and was ready to take a big bite out of another chunk of highway. And shortly after that, I knew I needed some food for the road, so I stopped at this store and got myself a little bit of fruit and some Gatorade. And a bit after that, uh, Google Maps found me a little bike path to follow. It was pretty cool and sometimes it was pretty steep. Time once again to get some groceries. I stopped at this Aldi. I'd never been to one before, so I thought I'd stop in. And while there, I picked up some energy bars and some ravioli. Uh, Google, again, has got me going on these little side trails. Here I am peeling off onto it. A little bumpy start, but it ends up being a pretty smooth, well-paved trail after that. Uh, there's some interesting landmarks on this trail. Um, looks This looks like an old railroad bridge converted into a bike path. Thought it was kind of neat. Uh, by this time, I'm thinking to myself that I'm not making very good time um, going off on these side roads and getting lost and, and stuff, but this is a beautiful, beautiful place, and I'm loving this ride, so I'm trying to enjoy it as much as I can because this is the only time I'll probably get to do something like this. I mean, the scenery is just gorgeous, and this is such a cool... Look at this, look at this thing coming up, the... Um, tunnel going right through the hillside. Now I'm back on the highway and look the bike path is going right down the middle of the highway. This was a little bit nerve-wracking for a little while and then it started to make sense. Time for a break and I found this um, Vietnam Memorial and um, it's these memorials are pretty well put together and very nice places to sit and relax and get a bite to eat. Getting back on the road, all I've got to do is cross this bridge and I am in Baltimore, Maryland. And while Baltimore has a terrible, terrible reputation from various TV shows like The Wire and such, um, I was kind of... Um, optimistic because I saw this bike path here and I'm like, oh, cool, cool. Uh, big busy city. I'm going to be out of traffic. This is nice. The bike path even went up onto the sidewalk a bit, um, so I had to be careful of foot traffic. But that all ended and I was thrown into traffic. Um, I did my best to keep up and I was pumping along and Things were going splendidly until I hit this stupid pothole at about 20 miles an hour and blew out both of my tires. Uh, I was super frustrated and very angry as I fixed my bike. I got the heck out of Baltimore and found myself a Burger King where I got this wonderful hamburger. Wonderful reward for the frustration with my bike, this uh, big-ass hamburger, the uh, mushroom Swiss bacon double whopper thing. Feeling a little bit better with a full stomach, I uh, came across this advertising truck. Thought it looked pretty cool. After that, I was getting pretty tired and ready to lay down my head for the night, and I found a Super 8 motel in a small town called Havre de Grace, Maryland. Um, it was a really, really nice place. Uh, not quite as nice as the night before, but much cheaper, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> well, that was it for today. Thanks for following me, and keep up with my other stuff at dunkerbike.com.